Hello everyone. So today we will learn about the new tools that is customize. In this Kubernetes native configuration management, we are going to learn which is the customize. So we will see what is customize, how customize works, features of customize for Kubernetes configuration management and then the benefits of customize for Kubernetes configuration management. So now we will first see what is customize. So customize is a tool for managing and customizing configuration for applications deployed on Kubernetes. It offers a declarative approach, meaning you define what you want to achieve rather than how to achieve. So using customize is very uh, handy because we don't need to edit the basic YML configuration file. We just have to add whatever changes we want to or whatever extra we want to uh, provide with the development or you can say the staging or the production stage requirements. So customize focuses on overlays and patches. So with the help of overlays and patches, we are adding the uh, customized YML file allowing you to customize existing YML manifest without directly editing them. This keeps your original files clean and reusable. Now, what is customize? Customize is available as a standalone tool and is also integrated with the kubectl command. So in this diagram, you can see the with the help of the GitHub repository, we are going to create the YML configuration file or you can see the customize.yml file in the customization using the customization tool and with uh, as you can see there is a different uh, environment requirement as for the development stage and production stage so for that the this customized yml file is very useful and uh, this is one approach and with the help of continuous integration with the help of helm tool you can also go to yml with the customization and with the help of github repository so this is you, uh, the Helm tool is used for the integration and the, with the help of GitHub and the Kubernetes with customization, we are going to use the continuous uh, delivery, which is used uh, immensely in the DevOps tool. So in this diagram, you can see the Kubernetes with the help of this basic uh, configuration YML files, the customization is also added in the form of the overlays and the patches are added. We will see that in the uh, GitHub repository, How Customize works. Customize and Helm can work with Git repositories for managing Kubernetes configuration and Helm charts respectively. So as I have shown you in the uh, previous slide, the diagram, how the workflow is going. You can version control your configurations or charts in Git repositories and then use either tool to deploy or manage them. This enables collaborations, versioning and tracking changes over time in a structured manner. Now, the features of customize for Kubernetes configuration management are layered configuration, separation of concerns. Base layer holds the default configuration, that is the configuration.yml, what I am talking about, and while overlays apply, environment specific changes without modifying the base. So, we don't need to edit the base configuration, we just adding the extra YML file for the uh, customized requirement of our environment reusability base configuration can be reused across different deployments promoting consistency and reducing duplications environment specific customization overlays allow for targeted changes for specific environments example development staging or production without modifying the base configuration as i have said we don't need to go, go to modify the base configuration we just have to add in the form of overlays and uh, patches, the customize.yml file. So maintainability, clear separation of concerns between base configurations and environment specific adjustment. Now, the next feature is declarative management. Focuses on what needs to be changed rather than how to change it. We just have to provide what we want to change and the customize will do it work. Simplifies configuration management and reduces the risk of errors. 
so there is a less risk of errors with the help of the customization for example if you specify a desired image for a deployment in customization.yml and customize automatically applies the change we don't need to worry about how it's going to change we just have to apply the change in the customization.yml now the next feature of customize for kubernetes configuration management is template free customization uses plain yml files for both base configurations and overlays making them easier to read and maintain compared to templating language so templating language means uh, in your java for example you can take the java language we don't need to provide the expressions like java language like a bracket semicolon colon we just have to type the code it is as simple as that it reduces the complexity of managing configurations and avoids potential issues with the templating syntax now the next feature these are the additional features resource filtering include or exclude specific types of resources in the final configuration so if you don't want all the services or all the resources provided in the configuration management you can uh, either include or exclude it in the customization.yml configuration now the image overrides override container image versions for different environment directly in customization.yml name prefixing prefix resource names to avoid conflicts across deployment so you just have to provide the prefix under which deployment or you can say the development production or a, a staging and then in that particular uh, stage the whatever change we are going to apply they will happen so the customize bill command for generating the final merge yml based on the base and overlays so integration with kubectl we just have to use the minus k flag with kubectl apply to directly apply the customization configuration is as simple as that now the benefits of customize for kubernetes configuration management are improved organization layered approach keeps configuration organized and maintainable so you can see the layer approach i will show you later on reduce complexity declarative approach simplifies configuration management increase efficiency reusability and environment specific customization streamline deployments enhance collaboration easier to share and understand plain yml files compared to templated configurations so now we will see here i have the uh, official customization github repo and uh, in the examples hello world you can see there are configuration management deployment customization.yml and service so this first two are the basic uh, file of the customization or you can say the kubernetes and the customization.yml we are going to add the extra whatever we want to uh, include in our uh, environment stages like deploy uh, sorry development then production so we don't need to edit this uh, configuration management and deployment we just have to add the customization.yml and whatever changes we are going to do will be specified in this customization.yml so here you can see the directory will be look like this so here in the base all these are included the files which are configuration management deployment customization and yml and at the last you can see the patch is added for the overlays with the overlays you can edit the whatever changes you want to have in the deploy development or you can say the production now we will see how this work so here in the overlays in the production we have the deployment.yml and customization.yml in the deployment you can see the name is provided the replicas are 6 and the other features are uh, given over here in the code but in the customization you can see the path is provided that means the name prefix for production and the path that is the deployment.yml file this is going to use for the production purpose okay so we will conclude here that customize empowers efficient maintainable and scalable deployments in kubernetes cd pipelines 
that is through environment specific customization without modifying core manifest so as we have seen that uh, the core uh, configuration management file that is yml file is not uh, is not changed just we added the customization.yml and whatever the changes we want to do we have added the code in the customization.yml 